Today I'm speaking with John Knezny, who is the conference lay leader. To start out, could you explain what laity means? Laity is basically those folks who are not clergy uh, within the uh, uh, conference, within the church. Uh, we have both clergy and laity, and clergy are, are the elders and the local pastors, um, and uh, uh, the other clergy that are in process uh, somewhere in between. I don't know all the definitions, but everyone else is considered to be laity. What is your role as leader of the laity to the conference of the United Methodist Church here in the Susquehanna Conference? I represent the laity of the Susquehanna Conference to the cabinet, to the bishop, uh, and, and uh, to the uh, um, to the workings of the conference, and uh, um, also to be a, a model disciple, uh, modeling uh, Jesus uh, for folks, and to. Uh, hopefully set an example for folks in terms of, of active, active discipleship. What comes with your role? Do you, um, who do you meet with, and what kind of topics do you discuss? Well, as the conference lay leader, I'm, I'm involved greatly with the cabinet and with the bishop, uh, meeting with them approximately monthly uh, in full cabinet meetings. Uh, also involved with a number of other committees and, and teams within the conference structure, such as the uh, Committee on Episcopacy, the Committee on Sessions, which plans the annual conference. I'm also involved with the Nominations Committee, as well as the uh, uh, Visioning Leadership Team and the Leadership Development Team. When we were speaking earlier, you said one of the things that you've been working on um, is a matter of, of definition of laity speaker versus servant. Can you elaborate on that a little bit? Yes, as part of the uh, leadership development team, uh, we are currently working on getting information out to the conference. In fact, we're on the very verge of it in terms of producing a pamphlet talking about the transition from the uh, prior terminology of certified lay speaker and moving towards lay servant, lay servanthood, uh, which is the language that was adopted by the most recent general conference. And that particular uh, difference is that it, it, it frees folks up from just thinking of serving their churches from the pulpit uh, and, and enables them to be involved in other types of uh, uh, servanthood within the local church. And so it's, it's very uh, um, freeing for the laity of the church. Now, in terms of what that means in terms of how to become a lay servant or a certified lay servant, that's going to be spelled out shortly. Uh, and also as well as the moving towards um, uh, the recertification of lay speakers and certified lay ministers, that's also going to be spelled out uh, over time. We'll be talking about that. But at this point, uh, we're looking at it that folks are being grandfathered into the process uh, from where they were into the new process. And, and we're, not, we're not holding them to any certification requirements at this, just at this point, come 2014, we will be having more definition about that. What are some other visions that you see um, for your role and ways that you can represent the lay people? Well, one of the things that's important to me is the partnership between clergy and laity. Um, if you look at Acts, there, um, there weren't any clergy at that time. Everybody was laity. There was the apostles, and uh, they were th there were the disciples that were being made daily. Uh, but most of the folks were laity, and there was a partnership going on between the apostles and those disciples that, that were being developed uh, in terms of spreading the word. And uh, that's what I look upon as a model in terms of moving forward, that um, it's, it's sort of a three-pronged approach that, that together the laity and clergy need to listen to God, we need to listen to one another, and then together we go and change the world. And that's really what, what drives me as my vision in terms of um, uh, the laity acting effectively in partnership with the clergy. Well, thank you for sharing your experience and um, just telling us a little bit about what the laity's role is in the church. And if you would like to learn more about how you may, as a non-clergy person, be involved in your church, you can check out my Facebook page at Susquehanna. Express. <laughs> <laughs>